good YouTube. Today I'll be showing you how to swap the scroll wheel and how to center a scroll wheel on a Starlight 12. This works for the medium and the small. This is a final mouse Starlight medium and the scroll wheel is a little bit to the right on mine. It's actually almost touching the magnesium part of the right click. So let's fix that. The materials that you're going to need is going to be a lighter, a screwdriver with a special tip to open the mouse, something to cut the heat shrink with, and some heat shrink, which I bought from Amazon. I'm going to leave all the links down below for the products. You start off by taking off the two screws at the bottom, place them somewhere where you don't lose them. Um, the top shell comes right off. and you are presented with the PCB. You first start off by removing the battery, and then there are four clips, one on each corner of the PCB, which you need to take off. Once you take off all four pins, the PCB should come right off, and then you remove the scroll wheel. Here is where you need to add some heat shrink to it. You wanna leave a very small piece of space so that you can actually put the scroll wheel back on the fork like piece of plastic that actually holds the scroll wheel in place. Here I'm just taking out the stock rubber because I don't like that one. I'm going to replace it with another rubber band. Um, this is a size 9 by the way. I believe it's 5.5 millimeters in width. And then you're going to want to measure how big you need your heat shrink. So, like I said, I'm going to want to measure it first and then mark where I'm going to cut. You can do this with a pair of scissors, too. You don't necessarily need the tool that I have. And then once you cut it to size, you leave a little bit of room, like I said, for the fork to go in. And then you just burn it. I have a torch here. You can use a lighter. Anything works. You don't want to leave it on there too long so you don't burn the actual scroll wheel. And then this is what it looks like after you're done. What this does is basically make the scroll wheel a bit taller on the right hand side so that it actually goes up and it moves a little bit to the left once you put the PCB back in place. You just want to make sure that all four of the pins are back on each corner of the PCB and they are on top of the PCB and not under. And then now you can see that the scroll wheel is actually in the middle now. And that's it guys. Thank you very much for passing by. Much love. Stay safe.